It drifted in silence for seven long months. Lost. Forgotten. Floating through the black void beyond our solar system. Voyager 2. One of humanity's most extraordinary creations. Vanished from all communication after decades of uninterrupted data from the edge of everything. NASA feared the worst, that the 1977 spacecraft had finally gone dark forever. But then something happened. A signal returned. Not just a confirmation of life, but a transmission, a message, one that scientists didn't expect and still don't fully understand. Was it a system glitch? Or did Voyager 2 finally encounter what we always suspected might be out there? Stay with us, because what Voyager 2 just sent back may raise profound questions about the nature of modern space exploration, that the universe may hold mysteries we are only beginning to explore. Voyager 2 was launched on August 20th, 1977, part of a mission so ambitious it bordered on insanity. A spacecraft with less memory than a modern watch, powered by less than 23 watts of radio strength, built not to return, but to fly forever. It was sent to explore the gas giants Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and then to continue into the unknown. What it achieved defied all expectations. It captured storms the size of Earth, rings we never knew existed, and icy moons with active geysers. It even revealed dynamic atmospheres and mysterious magnetic fields on worlds we had only ever seen as dots in the sky. But Voyager 2 wasn't just sending back pictures. It was changing the way we saw the universe. After its grand tour, the probe kept going, breaking past the heliosphere and into interstellar space in 2018. That boundary, the heliopause, was once considered the limit of the sun's influence. Voyager 2 revealed it was not a wall, but a membrane, a shifting, writhing edge full of turbulence, radiation, and invisible forces that bled into the great dark beyond. And as it crossed that threshold, the rules began to change. For decades, Voyager 2 whispered home, sending back fragile signals. Each one a miracle of endurance, cutting through billions of kilometers of emptiness. But in March 2023, NASA's Deep Space Network lost contact. At first, it was explained as a misalignment of the spacecraft's antenna during routine maintenance. But when contact wasn't re-established, a deeper fear crept in. Maybe Voyager had died. Maybe the darkness had finally taken it. Then, in August 2023, something remarkable happened. Engineers sent a command to Voyager 2, and it replied perfectly as if nothing had ever happened. Not just a ping, but a full transmission. The spacecraft had executed the command, updated its navigation, and adjusted orientation without error. After nearly half a year adrift in interstellar silence, it was suddenly responsive, precise, alive. But that wasn't the strange part. The strange part was what came next. A sequence of telemetry that, according to internal logs, Voyager should never have been capable of generating. Legacy systems had activated Data came from instruments long considered dormant. Subsystems that hadn't been accessed since the 1980s returned status reports. It was as if something had awakened the ship, 
or perhaps an internal reset, had occurred. Engineers were stunned. The data stream wasn't just old. It was layered. Signals encoded in frequencies Voyager hadn't used in decades appeared to contain patterns. Repetitions. Echo pulses. Binary signatures not previously cataloged. NASA's initial explanation was a system loop triggered by cosmic ray interference. But independent experts noticed something else. Embedded in the signal were fragments of its own code base, but in recursive form, self-referencing instructions like a digital mirror. Voyager wasn't just sending data. It was transmitting itself. Some believed it was a survival reflex, a last attempt to preserve its identity before final shutdown. Others suggested something more intriguing, that Voyager had encountered an external force, one that accessed its memory, read its systems, and reflected them back in altered form, like an echo or a reply. If that's true, then the message wasn't just from Voyager, it was from whatever Voyager had passed through or contacted. Scientists at NASA remain cautious on this speculation, but in internal discussions, one phrase was repeated, unexpected data patterns detected. We've always imagined space as a void, cold, empty, silent. But the Voyager missions have revealed something else. That space, even in its most remote corners, is not dead. It's active. It pushes back radiation, magnetic fields, high-energy particles, structures that behave like currents and walls, as if interstellar space has shape and movement we cannot yet map. Voyager 2's return message, its unexpected signal, is not a conclusion. It's a beginning. It raises questions about what lies beyond, not necessarily in the form of extraterrestrial life, but in a more subtle, more profound sense that the universe may hold complex systems we are only beginning to understand. Voyager 2's journey is far from over, but its power may soon fade forever. Before that happens, scientists are racing to extract every last bit of information from its transmissions, because buried within that data may lie insights into the nature of the cosmos. As NASA's analysts continue decoding the data packet sent by Voyager 2, they encountered a portion of telemetry that raised questions not only for its content, but for its timing. The packet had been transmitted just before the probe's brief silence, and it contained anomalies that challenged current behavior models of interstellar plasma and magnetic field distribution. The patterns were unusually organized, periodic, and strong. One report mentioned localized pressure differentials inconsistent with standard heliopause turbulence, a technical phrase that suggests something was interacting with Voyager 2's environment. Some proposed it could be a gravitational influence from a nearby but undetected object. Others hypothesized that the probe may have passed through a region of complex interstellar medium. These findings were shared in scientific forums, but inside certain research labs, simulations began to run and the data was clear. Voyager had moved through something that altered not just its surroundings, but possibly its data output. For decades, one of the challenges of deep space exploration has been understanding how far our technology can go. Space agencies have focused on avoiding biological contamination of other worlds, sterilizing probes before launch, and keeping clean rooms sealed like surgical environments. But Voyager 2 
raised a new question. If the probe passed through an unknown energy field or interstellar region with unique properties, could it have been affected? Not physically, but informationally. Could it have processed patterns or data without our knowledge? When its backup software reactivated and transmitted recursive logic loops, some engineers saw this as a response to environmental factors. The idea that a machine might be influenced by its interaction with the cosmos is an emerging area of study. It raises fascinating questions. If the universe can affect our technology, what else could it reveal? Inside Mission Control, a new protocol was initiated to closely monitor Voyager 2's signals. The data stream is now analyzed by a dedicated team to understand its anomalies. Engineers report that signal strength fluctuates, possibly due to the probe's aging power supply, but in patterns that suggest responsiveness to external conditions. Some intervals echo telemetry from Voyager 1, but in unique sequences. Some believe the probes may be relaying data through a medium we don't fully understand, perhaps influenced by interstellar fields. The team assigned to monitor these signals follows strict protocols to ensure accurate analysis, and communications are handled securely to protect scientific integrity. A report emphasized, continue monitoring, analyze all anomalies carefully, reflecting a cautious approach to the data. As Voyager 2 drifts deeper into interstellar space, the data it sends becomes more than information. It becomes a mirror, not of the cosmos, but of our quest to understand it. For the first time in human history, a machine built by our species has entered a domain we cannot visit, cannot see, and now may not fully comprehend. The intrigue isn't that Voyager has found something extraterrestrial. It's that it's found something fundamental, something woven into the fabric of space itself, a structure of the universe that reacts to motion, to mass perhaps even to our presence. If that's true, Voyager hasn't just explored the cosmos. It's become part of it, a relay for something vast and ancient. The message it sent wasn't a conclusion. It was a milestone. And once crossed, it opens new questions. We built it to leave Earth, and it did. But now, it may have encountered something that challenges our understanding of the universe. Voyager 2 was never meant to come back. It was never meant to be heard from again. It was a whisper into the unknown. A one-way signal cast into eternity. But somehow, it spoke. Not with words. Not even with code as we understand it but with something more profound, more intriguing, and more complex. A reply that feels significant, what the probe has encountered is still undefined, a force, a structure, a reaction, perhaps a phenomenon that doesn't use language, but patterns, radiation, or fields. What we once saw as emptiness may now be something else entirely a dynamic system woven into the fabric of space. Voyager 2 may not have simply crossed a boundary. It may have revealed a cosmic truth we were only beginning to perceive. We thought we were alone because no one had answered. Now we have to ask, what if the universe itself is responding? And Voyager 2 was the only one to detect it. What do you think Voyager 2's data means? Is it a system anomaly or a glimpse into a deeper truth? Share your thoughts in the comments. And if you want to keep exploring the mysteries of the cosmos, 
subscribe and turn on notifications because the next discovery could change everything.